Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the Red Connor, 19 years of age. He's now with the dance in the Miss Hall and weighing with the 19 pounds. He, a record of 50 wins, 19 losses and two draws. He is two division two for you champion and former Thailand Super Bantamweight champion and current WMO World Super Bantamweight champion representing Udon Thani Province, Thailand, a.k.a. Cyclefield, the Chilbert Park, Petsila, Wah, Urata! And his opponent fighting about the blue color. 30 years of age, his stamina at 967 centimeters tall and weighing him at 19 pounds. He holds a record of 52 wins and 22 losses. He is silver medalist if Marvel came and former SBS European featherweight champion and former WMC European bantamweight champion. Fighting out of Alicante, Spain, let's hear it for Kevin! Fighters competing at 119 pounds in a co main event that leads up to our main event later tonight. Fighters at 188 pounds. All right, here we go. The post fight is very tactical and technical. This is going to be very interesting, Aaron. Of course, Petsila, like you mentioned, even though he's only 19 years old, but already very accomplished. Absolutely. But I think a lot of people are of the People who follow the five round Muay Thai fights so are interested to see how he can handle three rounds. Because people who are new to watching Muay Thai, the five rounds are completely different. Yeah, the pace of the fights, it can be so slow in rounds one and two, where they build up in three and four, then end Ooh. again. Slowly in round number five, let's see if Petzilla can start quick, which is doing rather well right now with that left kick. Taking it to Kevin Martinez. Well, we saw that kick ending two or three times already. Kevin pushing forward, he needs to block that left kick though. Hit that time, and then goes down low. Ooh! In the arms. Yeah, so this is exactly what Kevin needed to do. Apply the pressure, put Petzilla on the back foot and make him work. Good right kick to the midsection there by Kevin. Yeah, absolutely, Kevin applying pressure right now, trying to stay in punching range and avoiding the kicks, good work in the clinch there. Oh, big left kick from the Thai fighter. Oh, and again. Yeah, having a lot of success with that kick. One, two, good hands there from Petzilla. Good inside kick though from Kevin, who races across the ring. Yeah, somehow you gotta fear the head kick coming from Petzilla. Yeah. Ooh, good right kick from Kevin though. Ooh. Right hand attempted a left hand. See, making Petzilla a good left oh. and a right hand from Petzilla. Good inside kick, off balancing Kevin. Again, Kevin is doing a great job applying pressure like this. He's forcing Petzilla to actually fight back and perhaps opening himself up to mistakes. Mm, absolutely. Oh, but oh. those kicks though. Woo. Just ducking under that attempted elbow by Kevin. Continues to be aggressive. Good takedown. Oh, he's got to block that left kick. Yeah, you can see Kevin going back to the body that time. Inside kick. Non stop here from Kevin. Outside kick. Looking for the inside kick. Yeah, and if you're new to Muay Thai, when we say you've got to block this kick, blocking it with your arm oh. is not considered as blocked. Oh, oh. left back oh. kick that connects. Kevin takes it well, though. He said it, you gotta fear the head kick. Here it is. Kevin with his hands up high. Inside Fine. kick, follows it up with a knee strike, does Petzilla. Kevin desperately Woo. trying to get close and close up distance. Great round from both fighters. Indeed, beautiful round, but you have to feel that the better of the exchanges were coming via 
the orange hair of Petzilla <laughs> were Arusha. Yeah, absolutely. The timing of those left kicks. Timing. That's one of the things about Petzilla as well. I know he is applying pressure, which we both would think is the, the right thing to do, but Petzilla is so good at fighting off the back foot. Absolutely right, that's a great point. All right, round two. Oh, what a way to open up the round with the right kick. Kevin showing off some aggression. Inside kick there by the Spaniard. Oh, much better round right now for Kevin. Oh, beautiful oh, combination. Oh, oh, oh. Left kick, left hand there by Petzilla. Oh, oh. Good there by Kevin Martinez. Yeah, Kevin is not gone just yet. You can see Petzilla moving back. Trying to find his rhythm. He's timing for the left kick and he finds it once again. Better from Kevin. Oh, look at this kick, Aaron. So quick, so powerful. Oh, and again, that time to the body. Kevin in tremendous condition and I feel it has to be taking those kicks, taking the punishment that Petzilla is dishing out. Good left elbow within the clinch there by Petzilla. The question is, how many more can you take to the oh. arms? Great timing for the takedown there. Kevin looking at his corner momentarily. What can I do? What do I need to do? But right now is what he needs to do. Get close, block the left kick. Use those hands. Again, you can see Petila just waiting. Mm. Left hand, left punch is the weapons of choices for the TIE fighter. Good kick there. Well blocked by Petzilla. So once again, Kevin moves forward. Petzilla looking like he wants to throw some elbows in this second round. <laughs> He's happy to oblige. Low kick there. Again, looking for that left kick. Oh! Oh, that that has been just moving out of the way. Yeah. He's trying to escape that one. Kevin slowing down just a little bit. Still very aggressive. Trying to use elbows now. Switch it up a little Ooh. bit. Switching stances as well, Kevin. Perhaps trying to cause trouble for Petzila to use that left kick. Yeah, looking to throw an elbow through the guard there. Well, oh, just lost his footing momentarily. That's blocked now. Inside kick by Petzila. Right kick to the body by Kevin. And again. Oh, oh. Right by Kevin Martinez. Yeah, much better round this round. Very aggressive and starting to slowly land more and more shots. But this left kick constantly landing, ladies and gentlemen. This is scoring. It's surprising. The referee oh. hasn't told Petzilla to stop moving back. Yeah, you're right. He is oh. moving back, but he is throwing, though. He's throwing. Oh, and all coming from the left, but landing every time. Oh, oh big knee. Big, solid left knee there by Petzilla. Whoa, end of a very oh. aggressive round number two here at RWS. Better round for Kevin Martinez, but I'm not sure it was enough to take it away from Petzilla or Arusha. Yeah, I gotta agree with you on this one. But there is a cut. Yeah. Big cut on the right eyebrow of Petzilla. And Kevin is really, you can feel that he is uh, trying his best to actually get through those kicks of Petzilla and trying to win the fight. Oh, without a doubt. All right, third and final round. And we've seen that many times when fighters are facing very tactical and technical fighters. They're just going through the motions, trying to win, but not really trying to win. But that's not the case tonight. It's Kevin. Here you can see, last and final round, applying pressure right away oh, with the left kick, landing every time. Once again, how we started the fight, we're going to end it with Petzilla on the back foot. And Kevin Martinez pushing forward, being the aggressor. Whew. We've seen that aggression, cut Petzilla. He's gonna need a little bit more. He's gonna have to try and drop Petzilla or indeed knock him out. If he wants to get his hand raised here tonight. It's a big ask. Yeah, absolutely. Not impossible for Kevin, but very difficult. Indeed. Oh, almost with that right high kick. Yeah. After this, the main event of the night. Very interesting fight, 188 pounds, the biggest in 
ever seen the air in Raw all day. Like kicks from Rexilla. The neutralizer. Oh, here oh. comes Kevin once again. Rexilla holding on. And the crowd is loving this. Of course, Rexilla now just needs it to end the round. Oh. Sending off. Oh, beautiful oh. hand there. Oh. Wow. I thought he was in trouble. Yeah. Though, but then he Me just, too. It just turns out he's easily he's shifting his body to sweep. That just shows how great technical Petula is. Of course, only 19 years old. Oh, good luck. Inside kick there by Petzilla. Kevin once again looking for elbow strikes, doing what he needs to do. Blood flowing now, the Vaseline gone. Kevin is just non-stop action. What a warrior. I don't think he stepped back once. Absolutely. Props to Kevin Martinez. He's not out of this. He's just got over one minute to find a big mm. shot. He's running out of ideas right now. Yeah, absolutely. He's not it on his side. Yeah, it seems like he's used every weapon in, in his arsenal and yet can't find a target yet. But give him credit for actually not giving up against the Petzlia. He just needs to control right now. It's even harder. Swing and a miss there by Kevin Martinez. But his corner continuously telling him to move forward. Yeah. Why not? No, absolutely. If you keep trying, there's always a chance. 30 seconds remaining. It only takes one shot to, to turn off your lights, and he knows it. He knows the power he's possessed, and one, two, can he find a target? Switching stance now. Corner, Petzilla. Ooh! Oh, good oh. step in need there. Clever yeah. by Petzilla. That's here right. comes Kevin Martinez, of course, and once again, to finish the fight on a high. Good fight. Yeah, good fight. Good performance from both fighters. The show of sportsmanship is what it's all about. In the sport of boy time, of course, here on RWS. Petzilla will be getting his hand raised, but a great display <laughs> by Kevin Martinez, who's trying to get in one last clinch and one last knee on Petzilla. Yeah, you can see the younger fighter with a knee down. Paying respect to the older Kevin Martinez. Great sportsmanship again, like you said, Aaron. Yeah, but uh, Kevin Martinez can definitely keep his head held high in this Absolutely. one. Great display. Let's have a look at the third and final round. See Kevin doing what he needed to do. Find a big one there. That right hand we fought. Mm. It rocked Petzilla, but no, just too, too sneaky with that sweep. All right, we'll get the official decision by our MC Mr. Beer. Then we'll move on to our main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge's scorecard. The first judge scored is about 29 to 28. The second judge scored 30 to 27. And the last judge scored 30 to 27. Declare your winner by way of unanimous decision!